Yeah, everything else. All right, so I need. He was on the last one with the moving the ball. Yep. I need three officials for me. The other people can slide off to the side. Three, preferably, that haven't worked for me yet. I need a lead, a trail, and a center. Everybody else, kind of go off here. Don't worry, you'll get your opportunity. Don't go all the way to the wall, stay close. So, you're my trail. What's your initial starting position at lead? Here. What's here? Ball side, I guess. Ball side, how far off the, the how, how far off the baseline? Kind of depends. But, well, uh, yeah. generally, how far? Three feet, four feet maybe? Three feet, four feet, that's good. Where, 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 where else this way? This whole thing depends on where the ball is. Or it, but say you're just now getting into the initial position. Oh. You split the difference. Do you go all the way out, all the way in? Split the difference. Split the difference. So right about here is where you want to start, right? Yeah. All right, so stand there. Trail, what's your initial starting position? Uh, right here. That's, that's pretty good. About the 28 foot mark straight across. If the ball goes outside, you work in a little bit or you work down. At center, what's your initial starting position? Go straight across on the lane line. That's going to be your initial starting position. All right, so the ball gets inbounded. It's right here. Who's got this matchup if I'm guarded? I do. This person. All right, somebody come out here and guard me real quick. Anybody, 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 anybody? doesn't matter. I'm going to school you, son. All right, so he's, he's right here. He's got my initial guard. He's my matchup. So if you have this, what are you looking for? I'm looking for hand checking. So if I start, yeah, you're right. So if I start moving this way, can you see space? No. So you're going to move down or you're going to move up, either one. So move down. I wouldn't go below this lane line right here. So you may have to move up. You may have to let me go. If I'm quick, I'm going to burn by him. So if I go this way, give me two big people in the post, or two people in the post. I say big people. Two people in the post. All right, Sam's my offensive player. So, what are, you, what are you doing as I come this far down? I'm still watching now. You're going to watch this come across. You're going to play defense on her. There you go. So, you also want to be a little wider, right? Because what happens if I make it to here, now whose responsibility am I? Yours, right? So, I want to work wide with that ball. So, if I'm here and Zyrus is on me, I pick up my dribble, you now can see space this way, right? If you, you may take a step or so in, but you now can see space. If I try to pass this way, you've got that. That's your matchup, and that's at the bucket. If it comes back out here, I start going around, ball gets passed, keeps getting passed, what are you gonna do? Perfect, right there, you're gonna stop. It's a checkpoint. So you stop there to see what I'm gonna do. If I dribble here and decide to quickly throw it back, that's why you stop and don't follow me. So if I get here, you don't move yet, you still got me, because you've got me until right here, right? So, I'm here, I'm dribbling, dribbling. My big people come with me, you hang out. My big people come with me. So underneath, now you see your matchup has moved. So you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna have to rotate. Quickly move across, so now you pick up, you pick up this, this matchup, right? So you're pretty good right here, you see through. You've rotated down at center, we're fine there. So you can see space here. If I keep coming, there you go. You're going to move up. You want to see this. And if I go down low, like that, you're perfectly right there. If I start to rotate back this way, I'm going, I'm going. Don't move yet. You stay with me because I'm your responsibility until I get past here, or until he rotates. I'm here. I'm here. My bigs go. Are you moving yet? Maybe. Maybe not. Give me another matchup down here. Give me two more people down here. All right, so match my offensive player. Now you have a big match up here and a big match up here, right? You're also watching down there. You now have that side. So if I go over here and I'm rotating, so you still have this matchup. You have this one, right? You have that matchup, right? Don't go down so far. Stop at the free throw line. If they come high post to the middle of the lane, that's still your matchup, right? That's competitive, that's competitive, this is competitive. So you can kind of see how we're working on this. If they shoot back down to the block, I go across, and he's coming back up, you still have this matchup right here. 
and you still have that one because you haven't picked me up and she still has me. So if I do this and you look to rotate to pick up this matchup, what happens if I shoot this? What are you going to do? I still have them, right? Yeah, if I shoot it and you start to rotate, what are you going to do? Back, back out. You can back, back out, right? All right, so we're here. Zaris is on me. You haven't rotated yet because I'm just going to hold the ball out here. He now comes and guards me. I got to throw a pass. It tips off him and goes out of bounds. So the ball's going this way. What do you do? The ball goes out of bounds. Let me go to the lead. Ball goes out right here. What's, what's your first thing? It's the ball goes out of bounds. What do you do? Out on you. Point the direction, right? Yeah. So you blow your whistle, point the direction. Then you gather the ball. All right, the ball's out of bounds. Are you, what, what, what are you looking for right now? I'm looking for whoever's coming to take it out. You're going to be the one taking it out, right? Yeah. Why? Because I'm the ref. <laughs> You're the ref, yeah. It's because you were center here, so you just slide back a little bit. Remember the PowerPoint? You just slide out just a little bit. You're waiting for him to come across. Why, would he, why are we waiting for him to come across? So we can get a better look at what's going on. So we have two people on this side. This is where ball is. This is where most of the action is going to go. Typically, you're not going to have a backside lob pass for a dunk. Not usually. That's what she's there for. She'll take care of that for you. So, all right. I'm standing here waiting for it. Who are you looking at? What are you looking for before you inbound the ball? I'm looking for the lead. So you're making sure he's good. You're making sure she's good. And what else are you looking at? There's three things. You got just two of them. Now you got one. The player. Where do you think Matt Rubin is sitting right now, or squatting? We're looking at the we're looking at the table, right? We're looking for subs. Your partner is also going to help you out with that. But when I when I inbound the ball, I take a quick look here, quick look there, and I look at the table. Because if there's nobody at the table, what can you do? What do you tell me? So I'm going to take it. I'm going to run, right? What did, you didn't tell me spot, right? All right. Okay. okay, so you tell me spot. All right, spot. Then you're going to put your hand up, hand me the ball, hand up, and then you're going to count, right? So when you, ha when you hand the ball in, spot, hand them the ball, 1,001, 1,002. When you pass it in, you chop the clock, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so tr let's try that. Spot. Spot. Hand me the ball. Keep that hand up. What are you going to do with the other hand? Count with the other hand. One with that. So I pass it in. Thousand. Chop, right? Chop. All right. So, ball gets taken back this way. I turn it over. Give it to her, sorry. I turn it over. Where are you going to go? And we're going that way. You go this way, right? You become lead, right? Yeah, so you'll go be lead. You're just going to slide down the floor, and what do you have? You have a tr you're following this. What, you also have the backcourt count, right? All right, give me three new people on the outside. You can stay. All right, so you've got lead, trail, and center. Who's got my who's got this matchup right now? Right here, right? Ignore the ignore the cones right now. You've got me, right? I start to move this way. Who are you looking at? Yeah. You've got them for right now. They could be competitive. You've got them. As I start to move, you start to move. You're gonna stick with this until he picks it up, right? So as I go here. You rotate, that pulls you back down, you pick up this matchup. Do you want to leave this? Why not? You see the space. Now if I start taking this a little bit further this way, pop up a step or two. And if I go to pass it down low, that's all you. What happens? Hold this up here, be my offensive player for a second. And the screen comes. You come into screen. Start dribbling this way. Who's got the screener? You do, right? Because you pick him up out of your primary. So look for this off-ball screen, or it could be ball screen. So if you go back down there, you stay right here. I come down, I call for the screen. She tries to get around me, try to go around me. And I go like this. That's your call, right? 
Yeah, because you see that off-ball stuff. So we need to make sure that we keep an eye on that because you're going to have that, you're going to have that, you've got the off-ball stuff. When you're the center, you have a lot more off-ball stuff than anybody else because you have such a big area at center. As you can see right here, it goes here, comes over. That's going to be the centers on this side. So, or this is going to be the trail, and this is going to be the lead right here in the center over here. There's a lot more area on this half of the floor than there is in these two areas. So just remember that. Um, what happens if they're down there, we have this shot, he's guarding me, I got to shoot this, and I get fouled. You call a foul, right? Who are you going to rotate with? Who are you going to switch with? I'm going to go to the table. Okay, you go to the table. Go ahead and go to the table. What are you going to do? You're going to replace him, right? What are you going to do? You're going to administer the free throw, right? Yeah, so you'd step in and administer the free throw. All right, switch back. Go back this side. So you're going to be trail. You're going to be lead on this side. Slide down to center. What if we're right here? Come here. I go drive. I throw throw this, and then I put up the shot. I'm two for two. I'm going to quit for the night. You know what? Wow. Offensive, right? Where are you going to go? Go to the table. Go to the table. Go to the table. I go through the players. Or right? I go around the play. Because what? Here's what happens. All right. I, I, if I go through the players and he's mad at the foul I call and I'm right here and I'm just like, yeah, there's a foul. What's he gonna do to me? He can. He can give you one of those. I'm five foot eight. Let me tell you what I'm not gonna do. They'll probably swing this over the top of me. I'm dunk through them. But I go around the players. I'm not. I'm not gutsy enough to go through the players. So you go around the players. There you go. Where are you gonna go? You're going to go replace him, right? There you go. What are you going to do? You're just going to watch players. You will eventually go down, but you sit here and watch the players. Because what you don't want to have happen, I just threw it, and now I'm mad at him, and I punch him in the face. you got to make sure you know that I punched him in the face. He's laying on the ground crying. You want to know why? I don't pack that big of a punch. All right, so ball goes out of bounds. You have the ball, right? You'll go along. If they're pressing, you hang out. If not, you'll get out of the play. What are you going to tell me if I'm the if I'm putting the ball in play? This is your spot. And then what are you going to do? And your ball. And put my hand up and start counting. So when you do it, yeah, take a step away because what you don't want to do is count in my chest. Take a step or two away. That's fine. All right. So give me three new people. I'm going to do one more. We'll get you guys moving. Three new ones. This is going to be my lead. I need one more. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so my lead, my trail, slide back a little bit, and my center. So, if I'm coming here, I'm dribbling down. He's trying to get at the ball, and he hand checks me. Hand checks me. You call the foul, right? Where are you going to go? Go to the table? You just hang out and make sure you watch him. If I'm standing here, what are you going to tell me as, I, as you put the ball in play? Spot. Spot? What if I'm like, hey, we need to blah, blah, blah. What are you going to You can pull me back. Make sure I stay here. All right, so you give me the spot. I take off and I take two steps this way. Oh, yeah. Blow the whistle. Boop. Spot violation. That's all it is. Going the other way. All right, so let's say I abide by your rules and I don't want to go. I take it and I back up. You're allowed to do that. I'm allowed to do that. I throw it over the top. It didn't go over the top, but that's all right. If it goes over the top of the backboard, it's out of bounds. If I try to throw the lob and I successfully throw that lob that way and Matt gets it, we're fine. But I can back up. You're absolutely correct. Um, all right, so we'll do this one last one. You're guarding me. I got pressure. She got, I, get, I pass it down. What are you watching? You got a pretty good look on the space, right? What if she starts to curl? Come around, keep coming up top, keep up, come up this way. You start to curl this way. Where are you at? Where are you at? You're at C, right? So you want to be free throw line extended. So as she curls through this, you're going to pick this one up. So ball? Ball's right here. Yeah, so the ball's here. Ball started here, he can, get up, he can stand out here. So the ball's here. Trail's there, center's there, right? Or um, lead's there, trail's there. So as she curls around, you're going to start picking this one up. 
And you'll, you'll watch it. You may close down, but you're not going to move yet because you're going to see what she does. You don't want to be in the middle of a, a rotation as she puts that ball up. So you're going to pick up that. You may slide down a little bit to have a look at it. If she shoots it, we officiate it like we normally do. So if she shoots it, puts it in. She scored. Now what do we do? You'll start sliding down that way. She was not fouled. You'll hang out to see if anybody's going to pressure, and then you're going to have an out-of-bounds count. You'll let them pull it out of bounds. If she misses, and the rebound comes, and I go to look up the floor, you're going to go, you're going to hang out for half a second, and you're going to stay behind the play. Because if I start to go, and you get ahead of me, and it gets stolen and laid up, you're not going to be able to see the play. So, just remember that. Um, are there any questions on that? We'll go over it a lot more tomorrow as well. We'll talk about foul rotations, uh, free throw shooting, and we'll actually do it. But it's, this is just to get you out on the floor and actually see it. We'll actually inbound the ball. So when you inbound the ball, typically what I do if I'm inbounding the ball, if you're my offense player, partner, partner, table, spot, 1,001, 1,002. And this is about where I get to. If I want to, I can work a little bit deeper this way. If we're going the other way and there's pressure, and I, I go, you've got the baseline to run, baseline, and I count, and he can go. If he's got a spot, I'll do the same thing. You've got a spot, bring him outside the lane, spot right there, bounce the ball, 1,001, 1,002, watching court, then do it that way. It's tough, it's weird, you're like, how do I count the same way and then chop? It's like tapping your head and rubbing your belly at the same time, it's weird. What we always say is get in front of a mirror. We're going to do some mechanics tomorrow, but get used to having to chop that clock. I can do both hands, so if you have this, if I'm on this side, come this side with me. I'm going to tell him spot, and then I'm going to count. Or spot for staying here, and I'm going to hand him the ball. Always make sure they're looking at you, because the minute he looks away and I throw the ball, it's going to go doink, doink, doink. Now i got to go chase it. If, if they don't want to listen to you, so if he's out here, so if he's, he's trying to call play and telling his players what to do, spot, and I put it in his chest. Because if he doesn't want to receive it, I'll give it to him. Or if he's looking away, looking away, spot, and then I, and then I put it in his chest, and then I start counting. If he doesn't want it, that was a one. Rarely do they ever do that. But you make sure that it's on your time. If, they, if you're like here and you're like this, you, you check it, and he grabs it out of your hand, Give me the ball back. Come on. We've got players on the floor. So that's what we always look for. Don't ever let that ball hit the wall. It comes off the wall right back to him. And if he throws it in, boop, boop, it goes through me. Every time it goes through the official when the ball goes out of bounds, except on a made bucket. Any other time, you've got to possess it and you've got to put it in play. Because you could have subs coming on the floor. You could have your officials doing something, somebody tying their shoe. I always take a second or two to make sure that everybody's good out here. Again, that's more time that runs off the clock that you don't have to officiate. And when we get down to the end of the first half and the clock's running, they're like, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. We're good? All right, here we go. That's what, that's what we make sure we do. Are there any questions?